Hello people, um, today I thought I'd do something a wee bit different, um, because I recently just switched over from uh, the Bedrock version of Minecraft over to Java, and uh, as you'll probably know Java uh, includes a lot more mods, um, I've been playing around with a lot of them recently, but I think one of my favourites is to do with these little guys, bees. So today I want to go over the Buzzier Bees mod, which I'll leave a link in the um, description if you want to have a look at it. It's a really cool mod. It's made by the same people who do, um, I think it's Abnormals. I think that, I, I don't quote me on that, but I think that's the name of it. And basically, it's, it's they're like, they do like vanilla enhancement mods. And this is one of the Buzzier Bees. And it essentially just takes the, uh, bu the Busy Bees update, which is 1.15, uh, and it was really bad. <laughs> so they just, they basically upgraded it. And bees weren't very interesting when they added them. Come on, get up. Uh, bees weren't very interesting when, when they add them, um, when they add them to the game, so this update just essentially makes them a lot more interesting. Um, I think we've lost the other one, yeah, we've lost them. Oh well. But yeah, this update essentially just makes them a lot more interesting and adds a whole new range of stuff um, that you can do and make and craft to do with bees. So it's a very nice update uh, to the previous play. Kind of disappointing, 1.15. Uh, first, the first thing it adds actually is uh, themes. Like, like they're like different variants of the beehive. So usually, when you play the game, you only get this beehive, which is the oak beehive. Uh, it's crafted just with the uh, six planks and the three honeycomb. But now this mod adds in variants for every type of wood. Uh, so you can use any type of wood to craft a beehive, and it'll give you a themed beehive. So you can you can replace the oak with uh, the spruce. And it gives you this, which is really nice actually. They didn't they, they didn't even copy and paste and just change the textures. Each one has a completely different um, design and texture to it. So this one's got um, the whole gap up here. This one's lowered a wee bit, and this one's got um, the bolts in different places. But uh, yeah, I think this is definitely my favourite one. Uh, you could even use this as like flooring. Like if you just put the if you just put the beehive in the ground like that, um, yeah, you could definitely use it for flooring. That'd be quite cool. Um, you have the the jungle one here is very nice as well. Uh, we also have the birch one. I can see this working quite well too. Um, you can see the top is similar to the, the birch trapdoor. Uh, I think a lot of them, are, yeah, they are. Uh, this is the acacia one. So again, completely different style. Uh, the dark oak one here, which is similar to the spruce one, but um, the sides are different on this one. And we also have nether themed one as well, which I think is really cool. I wouldn't have thought about that, but they've added nether themed beehives as well. So that's very cool. But uh, so yeah, to craft these, all you need to do is replace the oak wood with any wood of your choice, and it'll come out with a themed one. Uh, moving on, this game. Oh, this, sorry, this, this game. This mod also adds in two new foods. So we have here the honey apple, and we also have honey bread. Now these are just basically um, slightly enhanced versions of their norm of their vanilla counterparts. So um, they restore a little bit more health than their than the the apple does, and this one just restores a bit more than the normal bread, doesn't really do much apart from that, but it's nice to know that you have a couple of new foods, and uh, simply, all you need to do to craft the honey apple is an apple, and a honey bottle surprisingly, and you get yourself a honey apple, so instead of regenerating two hunger bars, this one regenerates two and a half, so it's not a, sign it's not a significant increase, but it's a nice little thing, just to add a bit more to the, uh, the whole buzzy bees idea. And again, with the bread, bread and honey bottle gives you the honey bread, and this essentially just takes the bread from regenerating two and a half to uh, three hunger bars because of the addition. But uh, yeah, there are the new food types. Moving on, we have a whole new range of blocks that they get that this mod has added. Uh, there's actually two sets, but uh, I'll get to the other one in a minute. Um, but this is the first one right here. Excuse this texture here, I think it's bugged. I don't think that's a texture in the back thing. Uh, I think it's just been um, a bug, but uh, hopefully they'll fix that. But these are these are honeycomb bricks here, and we'll get on how to craft them in a minute. But first of all, uh, we have the crystallized honey, which uh, looks a bit odd, but you could definitely use it in something. And all you need to do to craft this is just get your honey blocks, uh, like, th like so. And these are crafted just using the... Uh, uh, the honeycomb, and all you have to do is chuck it into a, into a furnace, wait for it to smell, and it'll give you some crystallized honey. So it's a nice little, um, you can't, oh, 
and it breaks when you step on it. Is that meant to happen? I don't think it is. <laughs> no, that's not meant to happen. Or is it? That's weird. Oh, it is! Okay, that's quite cool. So you can actually step and jump on this and it'll break. Oh, that's quite cool. Well, anyway, yeah, that does that. <laughs> um, but yeah, once you've got your uh, smelt, you, once you get your honey block smelted, you'll get your crystallized honey block, and you can use this wherever you want. But um, onto the next ones, uh, we have the honeycomb bricks, which look really nice. Uh, what it reminds me of actually is like the yellow brick road from uh, Wizard of Oz. You could definitely make it out of this. It's uh, it's pretty much perfect. And to craft this, all you need to do is take your four honeycomb, make it into the honeycomb blocks, which are vanilla, and then four honeycomb blocks makes four honeycomb bricks. And with these honeycomb bricks, you can craft pretty much every single thing you'd, you'd expect you to be able to craft. So you've got the um, the stairs here, the slabs, the walls. Uh, you have the chisels actually, which can be crafted uh, with two slabs. Makes uh, one chisel honeycomb bricks. The trap door, even a door, and also a uh, vertical slab as well, um, which is a nice addition. But uh, yeah, these are the. This is the first set of blocks, and the second set of blocks over here. Uh, these are your honeycomb tiles, and uh, these look a bit different actually. I, I could definitely see you using this uh, in roofing. I think it would look quite good as roofing, uh, specifically the stairs. But. Uh, all you need to craft these are uh, four of your honeycomb bricks, which you craft from the honeycomb blocks, and that will give you um, your honeycomb tiles. And uh, again, obviously you have your stair variants, your slabs, your vertical slabs, your walls, and you also have these. I used I used these throughout actually. Um, they look like end rods, and what these are are honey lamps. And all you need to do to craft these is simply an end rod, a gold bar, and a honey bottle, and that will give you your honey lamp. Uh, they look really nice. They're just textured. They're basically just retextured uh, end rods, and they make a. Uh, they, they make the same sound as uh, slime blocks do when you break and place them. So that's quite cool. But uh, yeah, these ones are. I like. I like. The, I like that they've added uh, two sets of blocks. Um, nice and decorative. Moving on to mobs. So now this this mod actually adds the moo bloom, which was one of the um, one of the mobs voted for. I think it was Minecraft Live last year. I might be wrong. Yeah, but uh, it adds these. I, I think these naturally spawn. I would guess in flower forest, but I haven't found one yet. Um, and they work as exactly as you'd expect them to. You can take shears and shear them, and it will take off the dandelions and uh, transform it into a normal cow. And uh, what you can also do is you can breed them as well. It's just two wheat, and that will uh, breed, the, breed the mushrooms. So it's exactly the same as a normal cow. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool. It's a nice addition. I don't know. I'm trying to see if milk... Oh, oh no, no, no. I wonder if... Um, how buckets work. Do they just give you milk or... Let's have a look. So if I milk you... Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, oh well. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, so that, that's your move blooms. I like them. They're cool. They got, they got voted out, but uh, it's nice to see that this uh, mod has added them. Now, uh, on to plants, actually. This mod adds a few new plants. So we have the buttercup here, we have the pink clover, and the white clover as well. And these can all be potted. And what I like about the, uh, about the, uh, the buttercup, actually, is it emits these particles, uh, which looks really nice, and I believe it does it in the... I don't think it does it in the potted plant form, but definitely when it's planted on the ground, which is a nice addition. And of course these can be potted. Um, so yeah, it's nice that you can find these lying about, and I believe you can, you can use these to create um, normal dyes as well, so these work as... Um, you're able to create dyes out of them as well, which is nice. Uh, moving on, we have a, a whole new villager profession. So this here is the Apiarist, Apiarist? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, but, but he's, basically, he's basically a beekeeper. And you can actually find a, a new structure. So in villages, a new structure will spawn. Now, I haven't, I haven't loaded a new chunk, so I don't think I'll be able to find one here. But um, you'll get. You, there's a pretty high chance that you're going to get a new structure um, in the village, which is basically just uh, where the beekeeper or the apiarist uh, stays. And this guy is. You can sit. You can get yourself one of these guys simply with a honey pot, which looks like a composter. Uh, and all you do to craft your honeypot 
is take your bricks here, your seven bricks, and put one honeycomb in the middle, and that'll give you a honey pot. And if you put this down near a netwit villager, it will auto assign to an, a pyrist or a beekeeper. And what he sells is he sells that he, he essentially he gives you you can give him campfires for emeralds, but later on he's going to sell you candles, uh, which I'll get onto later. And eventually, once he's reached his final uh, level of profession, he's going to sell you the honey wand. And the honey wand is quite cool. So the honey wand comes in two forms. So when you buy it from him, it will come as just the uh, the normal wand here. So I'll take it out, and um, it looks quite cool. And you can go up to any beehive with honey in it, and it will transform into a sticky honey wand. And you can actually eat the honey off of this. Uh, it's pretty replenishing, actually. It's the same as the honey bread. And uh, it doesn't use up the honey wand. You can simply just go back up to the beehive once it regenerates, when it, once it replenishes the honey, and take more honey from it. And you've basically got yourself an infinite food source with that. So that's really cool. Um, I like that a lot. So yeah, all you do is take your honey wand, go to any beehive once it's full of honey, uh, right click and you'll get your sticky honey wand. I don't believe the bees aggravate when um, you do this either, so you should be safe, you won't have to mess around with campfires. But it's nice that there's a new profession, I haven't really seen that. Um, now on to <laughs> my favourite part, definitely, is uh, candles. This mod adds candles and they are literally just pulled straight from the 1.17 snapshots. Um, so. People like me who were I didn't even pay attention to the Caves and Cliffs update was all I only cared about the candles, that's the thing I'm most excited for. Um won't have to wait any longer. So these candles are literally just pulled straight from the 1.17 snapshot. But yeah, all you need to do to craft these are just the um the honeycomb and the string, and it gives you one candle. And you can place them down as you would with sea pickles in groups of one, two, three, or four, and they look really nice. I really like these. I couldn't I couldn't help but I built a wee um sort of fantasy library of sorts with uh, the spruce bookshelves and um, I think it looks really nice but uh, yeah that's the candles, I love them a lot now what's also cool is it adds in all the other variants so we even have here the soul, I think it's the soul, yeah the soul candle um, which emits the blue particles and this is just a soul sand honeycomb and a string to give you the soul candle works exactly the same as normal ones and we even have coloured ones as well so you've got plenty of colours to choose from and these are simply crafted with a candle plus the dye of your choice. Gives you um, your colour candle, and I really like this. I don't see why anyone would want to use green or yellow candles, but you can if you want. I prefer the normal ones, or maybe even the white ones. But um, looks very nice. Moving on, finally, we have the scented candles. Now these are quite cool actually, because these give you effects. So we have plenty, we have loads of um, to choose from. Each one gives you different uh, effects, and they're, they're crafted simply with um, a candle, a flower, any flower of your choice, and a pops course fruit, and that'll give you a different scented candle. And each one of these gives you a special effect. So if I just hop on here, we're going to see a bunch of effects coming in. You can already see, actually. We've got poison, jump boost, slowness. Um, if I just jump in the middle here, there's going to be a heck of a lot. Yeah, here we go. We have uh, <laughs> pretty much every single... Um, debuff and buff almost so you got blindness you got slowness you've got poison your fire resistance um so they act like mini beacons almost but you have to be really close to them uh, but they look really nice design wise i really like some of these how they've got little golden ribbons around the bottoms of them um but yeah that just about does it for this mod and i think it's really cool it's a slight vanilla enhancement mod it doesn't add too much it just kind of tweaks the fuzzy bees update since it was a bit disappointing uh, but I'm really glad I checked this one out, and it's probably one of my favourites because I don't like mod packs that are too busy. Um, and this one, well, busy, no pun intended. But <laughs> this, I, I like this one a lot, and I think it's really good. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but yeah, this is the mod, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.